All right, today we are talking about how to make milk tea using an espresso machine. Specifically, I am talking about the Decent Tea Portafilter here. This is a portafilter basket that fits in a Decent or E61 machine, and you will put tea leaves, ground, finely ground tea, tea bags, anything like that in here. And when you run water through here, there's actually a pressure valve here that will allow you to build pressure and you can actually make a really nice concentrated uh, tea with this. And of course, this depends on how much water you add, temperature, and all of that. And what's really cool with the Decent is the fact that you can control a lot of those pulses and really the infusions of tea. So let's talk about how this exactly works and what profiles I've been using. So basically with the tea porta filter, you add the tea in here and when you introduce water in here, there's actually a valve in here that will open and close. You can actually take a screwdriver and adjust the pressure here. This has been set to around, I would say six, seven bars. That's also what I found to give me the best results here for concentrate. Now let's talk profiles. So I've actually created a baseline profile, which you can see on the screen here or check the visualizer. It's a three fills, but two infusions. What I did is I just took a normal T profile and I shortened everything is instead of normally you're trying to brew like 200, 300 mils of tea with a normal profile, I've shortened that to so I can brew a concentrate. So feel free to adjust the profile, but it's very, very straightforward. You only really need to end up with, I would say around 80 to 100 milliliters of tea and it'll be concentrated. And that is what you can use as a base for your milk tea. And I have some here and honestly, it tastes absolutely amazing. So now I wanna talk about how to actually brew this milk tea concentrate and what I have observed there. So basically tea can come in a variety of forms like a tea bag like this. And what I found out is if you just cut this off and you use it straight in here, you can do a pretty good brew just for regular tea, but I don't think it works very well for concentrate. It's just, it really isn't strong enough. And really what you wanna be looking for when you're brewing this, and at least in my experience, is for foam to occur. So if you see on the screen here, these beautiful foam, it almost looks like milk tea coming out of the tea porter filler basket. That's what you want. Just using a single tea bag doesn't really seem to yield the best results. What I found to come a little bit closer, and you of course have to adapt all of this depending on what tea you're using, is get two of these, cut them open, and lay them into the tea porta filter. Kind of like updosing an espresso puck. That allows you to get a much more concentrated brew and you're getting that beautiful looking foam that's coming out and it works great as a base for milk tea. If you can see the actual leaves, then I would probably avoid using that as a tea concentrate. Now you can make some adjustments with uh, infusion times. So if you are using a coarser ground tea, you could actually increase the uh, steeping time or, or infusion time for each of the steps and get a pretty tasty brew. But I think you really want to aim for finer ground teas. I was experimenting and with just tea that I had laying around and I was cutting these up using two or even three of these in a portafilter basket. And I thought the results were pretty decent, but as it turns out, I have tea enthusiast friends. So I actually reached out to one of my tea enthusiast friends and I was like, hey, you know, this is what I'm doing. This is the setup. How can I take this to the next level? Cause you know, well, we want something a little fancy. So he suggested uh, this specific brand here. Uh, this is a tea from Taiwan. It's uh, 18. This is the brand here. And basically, this is similar to this where it's ground up, but this is ground up really, really fine. And I switched to these. It's been uh, pretty fantastic. So if you wanted to replicate everything I'm doing, just go and check like I'll link it in the description and everything. They do micro nano lots for tea. I'm not a tea enthusiast by any means, but like the tea itself tastes fantastic. And because you can get a really, really, really fine grind of the tea, it turns out that when you stick that very finely ground tea into the tea porta filter basket, you get this amazing concentrated result, that really nice foam that comes out of, of the basket here. And it makes for a very nice base for your milk tea. And that's what I've done here. Pretty good. So this drink here, so I'm chewing and talking on camera. This drink here, it's just uh, honey boba. I actually went and bought boba from a shop. Ooh, you could also make your boba at home. Um, but 
It's honey boba with syrup in it. And then what I did is I then steamed milk. I poured the milk in here and then I took the tea concentrate that I brewed out of this and I dumped it in, mixed it up, and it tastes quite like I, I would pay for this. I am not a hardcore tea enthusiast. I have gone to my boba shops. I drink a lot of boba. Um, but this is something that's like, this is not bad. And I made it at home. And I was, it's like, wow, pretty, yeah, I didn't have to spend seven bucks on boba here. I don't want to talk about how this tastes or how I think it tastes as someone who's not a crazy tea. Like, I don't have a palate for tea, per se. But what has been interesting with all of these is, is even iced or hot is uh, really kind of, I think, the, the tea matters here. It's like, I found out that if, if I'm using just normal tea bags, I'm cutting them up, I'm trying to, like, add all of this into, into here. The, the grind of the tea, like how finely ground those tea leaves seems to, to really matter for these this like tea presso style of concentrate um, is that the coarser the grounds or the coarser the tea leaves, not grounds, are, the, the tea doesn't taste as impactful. It kind of tastes a little hollow, a little bit bitterness to it. But I switched to these uh, really finely ground teas and that's given me the, the best results here. And maybe because this brand uh, does higher end teas that that's impacted things. But from a flavor perspective, once you of course dump milk and you add syrup, if you add all that stuff, you'll mask any potential differences in what quality of tea you use to an extent. But what I'll say is that I found a lot of really great balance in my drinks because of the, the concentrate. And of course you can do go crazy with how you brew the tea with how many infusions, the temperatures you go at. And the profile that I created, I think is, is a pretty good baseline profile just to get around 80 to 100 mils of this concentrate. You can of course dilute that, but I found out that that works really well. It's like, you know, and it's like an espresso basically of just concentrated tea. And when you drink this, even in milk and even with boba, like I like this slightly sweetened. I've, I actually like my boba not super, super sweet. I like to actually be able to taste the tea. What's been cool with the higher end teas is you can actually taste the tea. Like it's a tea flavor that pairs with everything else. Like, you know, you get the syrup, you get the milk, and then you get kind of this nice tea flavor and the finish is has been really, really smooth. I think it's just because of the type of tea you use here. Now, I think people who are way more into teas will, will be able to know much more about it, but I just think the finely ground stuff that comes in these packs like this, the way the drink finishes is much better. Even if you do the same exact profile and you do everything else the same, it's just, that's what I've experienced. And this is just a learning point for me is uh, definitely colors and visuals. So like an espresso puck, like you're looking at an espresso and you're like, oh, you, it, it, is turboing or channels, it doesn't look so good. Uh, it's really down to the taste of the concentrate. So if you use a different tea or different ground tea, you're gonna end up with different colors. Like coffee, the answer is just taste it. There are some teas that look absolutely amazing and they don't taste so good and vice versa, it's like coffee. Another thing to note is uh, you do want to, if, depending on how tall of a cup you're using, I guess for a normal cup, you can actually uh, fit the drip tray on here, but uh, it's kind of like the pour over basket. You, you may want to just have another cup here uh, just to catch all of the uh, liquid coming out of here on the DC. And then if you were curious, you can actually buy a tea porter filter from AliExpress or you can purchase it directly from Decent. I got this from AliExpress and it took three months to arrive. So maybe buy it from Decent. So that's all I wanted to talk about today is making boba milk tea with an espresso machine with, with the Decent uh, is uh, you definitely want to play around with the profiles. Try the profile I've linked. I think it's a great starting point for a lot of different teas. Of course, I don't know too much about tea, but I think it's a good starting point. Uh, so try that out, adapt it for whatever you're doing, change the infusion times, depending on what tea you're using, how finely ground the teas are. But biggest takeaway is you want to use kind of these finely ground teas and ideally something nice like this. Uh, and that seems to, to work the best as a concentrate, as a base for your milk tea drinks. And yeah, there you go. But that's all I want to talk about today. Thank you so much for spending the time to watch the video. I will see you all around.